the Connecticut Sun, Stephanie White, who was coach of the year last year, have them at 7-0. and oh. uh, Make that 8-0 and oh after uh, today. Yeah, they had no trouble beating the Dream 69-50. to 50. It's their first 8-0 and oh start in franchise history. Ka Copper off the mark from range. Battle for the rebound, won by Mack, but there was nobody to throw to because Ka left the corner. Love the effort, though, by Natasha Mack. So let's see what this possession is going to be like for the Mercury on the defensive end. Yuri was able to get the ball inside the lane. Mm -hmm. One of the few times they've scored inside like that. Lee Yuri in her second season. She's a member of the China national basketball team. She's only 25 years old. Right. The national team member standing six foot seven inches tall and there's width to go along with that height. Zaya Cook back on the floor for the Sparks, along with Hamby, Nurse, McDonald, and Yaru. Shot clock getting very low. Yaru off the mark. Cloud with another rebound. Gets it ahead to Suge Sutton. Great opportunity here for the Merc. Well, Yaru at 6'7 is following in the footsteps of Zhang Hai Shaw. Mm. Tarasi with another triple. She's got nine to lead the Mercury. Nice to see her knock those downs, but Zheng Hai Shao, who was in 1997 with the LA Sparks at 6'8", and was on several Olympic teams for them. Pamby, even though she has the mismatch, passes it back out. Three seconds in the key is whistled against the Sparks. So great job by Cloud, too, to get her hands up on the defensive end, but ball rotation. The Mercury have done a nice job in this first half getting that ball in the corner and Tarasi knocking it down. It reminds me of what Eric Tebow said about seeing the Mercury defense. He's like, yeah, it's a lot of four guard, but those guards are big and they are tenacious. They're active with those hands. Tarasi recognizing the mismatch, drawing the foul on Yuru. So Yuru picking up her second personal foul. Stephanie Talbot off of the Sparks bench and she will replace Yuru. So it'll be ball out of bounds on the side for the Mercury. Phoenix trying to put the brakes on a four game slide. That's a season high streak of losses. Nothing like a little home cooking to get right. Shot clock at five. Tarasi, the turnaround jumper is money. She's got 11. Little head fake. She saw where the defense was. She saw where the shot clock was. Little shake and bake. White Mamba noticed. Shot clock is off. Seven seconds to go before the half. Tibbetts calling out for the defense. Got to get it up. Kia Nurse in and out, and that is how the first half will end. Phoenix winning the second quarter 23 to 7 and leading at half by 17. Stay with us at halftime as we officially count down to the 2024 WNBA All-Star Game right here in